Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. Very special guest tonight. Please welcome, for the first time on the podcast, graffiti artist, overall visual artist, rapper. Please welcome Gail Rock. Peace, peace, peace. Oh no, the W. Oh, the oh, W. No. The W for the win. Oh yeah. Or the witch. Or the witch. Yeah. It is. So did you see? You saw the first omen. Yeah, man. Of course. Did you like it? It was kind of scary. It was, it was pretty good. Yeah, I think um, it's actually been some time since I watched The Omen, man, but yeah, I, yeah. I loved it when it first came out. You, you know, I was the a OG, kid. The OG yeah. one? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure, for sure. Oh, my, Damien. Yeah, yeah. I saw that you did that review, but I didn't get a chance oh, to no, watch no, it. Oh, no, no, it's all good. It's yeah. all good. Do you see the second one with, when Damien's in, like, in, like, middle school, high school? Yeah, that was in dope. The, the, he's in the military academy? Yeah, I, I was dope. I remember liking it, you know, because I was such a fan of the first one. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, man, the second one came out. I was that was dope. I have to go back and revisit all those. I just when yeah. my daughter went to go see the new one. That's what's up. So yeah. I told her, you know, I wanted to watch the first ones again. Yeah, Damien, the second one I like because it's like kind of a self discovery where he he realizes he's the Antichrist. Remember? Yeah. Remember his lieutenant or the the sergeant mm -hmm. said you gotta like you gotta know who you are. You gotta study the Bible. Look in the Book of Revelation. It's like his keeper, right? Yeah, he was like kind of like his yeah he was like his teacher at the military academy. And so remember he went in and then he ch he saw the the six 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 on his forehead, mm -hmm. the mark of the beast. So um, yeah, I like that sweatshirt too, man. Aliens yeah. built Earth. Um, so Shout out to Aliens Built Earth, the homies. Is that the are they are they um are they the graffiti? Do they do graffiti as well? Oh, I mean, they're um, aliens. Mm -hmm. So okay, okay, that's what's up. No, um, uh, there there's some homies. Um, they do like a couple different brands. They mm -hmm. just do clothing lines. Um, Brim of the World is another is another mm. one. Uh, but this is one of their kind of spinoff projects. What kind of cop one of those? Um, probably AliensBuiltEarth.com, but I know for sure you can probably find their Instagram, AliensBuiltEarth. That's mm, probably that's the best up. way. Yeah. Are they in CBS? No, man. Just uh, just some good good folks, man. Just okay. some good folks that do that do you know clothing, clothing and, and art. Yep. yep. And you 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 have that in your background. Yeah, man. All like OG kind of LA graffiti stuff. Yeah, I'm right? from a, I'm from a from a crew. Um, go ahead, go ahead. Lay crew it down. from uh, Whittier, Los Angeles. Uh, life scene differently. Crew, you know what I'm saying? We're kind of founded in LSD? LA. LSD. Yeah, LSD. I like that. Yeah, life scene differently. So um, it's all acronyms, right? Yeah, that's like kind of how things are. J O R. That's right. Um, CBS. Yep. Um, um, what's the can't um, be stopped and all those homies. Yeah. Yep. yep. So how many? So, so when did you start? getting into that world yeah um pr pretty early in school you know what i'm saying like high school i think the freshman year high school is like you know kind of the turning point when i really got down with all the homies you know mm -hmm. i really was kind of big into sports prior to that mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. but then you get to high school and you start to pick sides you know so is there is there um do they recruit you or do how do they know you have artistic talent um you know i don't think in the beginning it was about the art it was more about just the vandalism yeah just getting up yeah. you know what i'm saying you're having fun with your friends and it's kind of like you know i was i was fortunate to get down with a group of heads that were that were already ogs and you know what i'm saying kinda, oh they had respect in your is it high school yeah. or junior yeah like, high school uh -huh. high school freshman year so that kind of you know transition that summer before give me a hypothetical of like stuff you guys do like you guys sneak out to 7-eleven and oh. hit the dumpster like how, how i mean you know work? it was it was probably probably a bit more uh incog like incog and bigger bigger in thought you know what i'm saying like, like you know give me an example. Pull, pulling all-nighters in in downtown la what you does know that what mean saying? what does that mean Explain yeah what that means. yeah pulling all-nighters like you know just going out all night you know you know probably you know figure out what your plan is and, you know, take oh, your paint really? accordingly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to be honest, like when I was younger, um, you know, we would, we would dress up like we were homeless and just kind of so you wouldn't rock have disguises. skid row. 
Yeah, and back in the day, man, it, it, you know, there was a lot more, uh, um, you know, back in the day when we started doing this, you didn't go, there wasn't social media. You didn't right. go to the streets and tell everybody who you were. So it's kind right. of almost weird for me to talk about it on a podcast. Right, right, right. But, but I know that... Because it's like the ninja secret stuff. Yeah, the anonymity yeah. of it was... The anonymity, was, yeah, yeah. that was like the thing, you know what I'm saying? You didn't really want to... You, you, you knew the streets know who you were, you know what I'm saying? And you would hit people up in the streets. Real? There's oh, the, but, but the code right, of the right. streets back then, it's all backwards now, right? So like... Well, what do you mean by that? Um, you What's know, the what was the code of the streets back then? You just didn't out other people, and now we're on podcast talking about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but that's because that's because the right. times that's because hip hop um, goes hand in hand with the element of graffiti. You know what I'm saying? And all the other elements of hip hop, and so that has become what sort of influenced the world we live in. Mm -hmm. Hip hop runs the world, and graffiti is a very normalized thing now. You could see. Sprite commercials with yeah, graffiti, right, and right, right. you know, you, you, I, I still trip off like that. Like video games have our homies in the background. They're you know really? their letters. And yeah, 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 yeah. All that type of stuff. So yeah, man, it's 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 very different now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like it's very normalized, and so now we feel comfortable kind of talking about the culture that we were part of back mm -hmm. in the day. That's contributed to a lot of what you see now on social media. Right. You know? Now everybody kind of goes to their social media and to get, then they take pictures of the pieces and stuff. Yeah. They have homies that are like, they called benchers and they go out and take photos of like trains and, you know, homies that like, they uh, call benchers benchers are like dudes that go out to, uh, you know, they go out to, uh, train, train, train yards, yards, get dope photos. And then they post it. And I've seen, um, benchers that do like art shows, like they'll frame their work okay. and, you know, so it's a whole universe. Can I give you, let me give you a hypothetical, like put yourself back when you're, um, that age. Okay. You're, you're on a, uh, you're on a train yard, right? Mm -hmm. Then these essays roll up on you. Hey, where are you fools from? <laughs> And they're a lot older, and they're you know, and they they, they yeah, know. man, all that. Hey, stuff, where are you fools from, dude? All that then, stuff then, has then, happened, man. We've been really? we've been really? blasted at yeah. from from like cholos. We've been blasted at during tra doing trains in the wrong time, wrong hood. For so sure, what, back the, in the how day. do you respond then? How, like, let's let's do that scenario. Where are you fools from? You tell them where it depends. You know, it depends oh, on the scenario, so is right? Is that a trick question? Sometimes, no, it's not a trick question. Okay, I mean, okay. usually, usually it's like you know, why well, I don't bang. You know, what I'm saying, mm -hmm. I, you're, or it depends if you're like in a in a social gathering and you know mm -hmm. but if fools run up on you like that you know you might just And that's tell happened to you. Yeah, well Do you remember I, the I, first time it's happened to you? Yeah, it's happened a lot man since I was young. I grew up in Whittier, you know, during the house party Whittier? days. Oh, house right, party in the days. 90s. Yeah, 90s, you know. Mm -hmm. And 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 in all fairness, a lot of the homies were gang members and also part of the graffiti crew. Um, you know, you kind of had to make sure you were in a position to survive. You know what I'm saying? Like so did, what well, you're, that's what tag yeah. Cause you can, you know, people are, people are multidimensional, right? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm sure they weren't thinking about it from that perspective, just wearing different hats. Yeah, you know, when you're yeah. in the hood, you gotta, you gotta have a certain role when you're out with your homies doing what you want to do. You know, you might want to do some graffiti because you got skills, you know what I'm right, saying? And you kind of right. keep those worlds separated some. And, you know, you remember back in the days there was the tag bangers and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So There's the, people well, that well, mixed. These view these viewers and listeners might not know what that is. <laughs> Please describe what that is. What yeah, is that? well, in the, the 90s, in the 90s, I think there was certain certain hoods in L.A. and other other counties as well, not just L.A., that, you know, like, you know, there was, there was it was your neighborhood shit, and you had to beef with gangs. They were the same age, gangs and and graffiti heads, and you had yeah. to be just as I'm tough. I'm not from LA, so this I had to learn. Yeah, you had to be yeah, tough I'm not in the from streets, LA, bro. man. I'm from Poway. I'm yeah. from like San Diego, like a nice, Word. like a nice high school. Word up. Like suburb, you know what I mean? Yeah. Suburb, like surfer kids. So when I lived out, when I so I this moved, is really all brand. Well, well, then that, yeah. no, well, I was here. I came here to early 2000, but in Silver Lake Echo Park. I mean, now it's all gentrified. But back then, I had yeah, to learn, was, I had to learn real quick. Yeah, exactly. Like they had the homie on the corner. He was the old school vato. Like yeah, the, you know he yeah. was the old OG cholo dude. That's right. Had his whole family on the block, and yep. when he walked on the block, you would have to get like get out of the way and give him res his homies respect. Yeah, man. Yeah. So that 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 whole element, man. You know what I mean? There's just there's just uh, some hoods were harder than others, and you know some hoods you just had to do what you had to do for the hood to represent. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's getting up mean? Um, just getting up, getting your name up, being active, just like amplifying who you are, you know, like on social media, that's what the, that's what today's thing is, right? Like trying to get so much visibility. Well, with that, you know, kind of incog back in the nineties, it was getting up, yeah. getting fame, you know what I'm saying? Like getting up as much as you could, getting your name out there as much as you could, basically. That one OG, the Cholo guy I was telling you that lived um, in Echo Park, Silver Lake, his son was in, 
I think junior high, high school, but then his homies like always brag. He's like, this fool's all city, fool. Yeah, all like, city. What, what, so what That's is an all, old school so term. So what does what all city mean? So like, you know, I, I kind of said that, you know, the crew was kind of founded like by members that were from Los Angeles and mm-hmm. also in Whittier. But, you know, we, we got up all city. We bombed. That's another graffiti term, bombing, getting up. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, going all out, going all city, but just not being like a local head. You know what I'm saying? Going right. all city. I hit all cities. You, you did? Know? Yeah, you of course, You take a train or in the buses? Man, we've done everything. Flown. You've flown places? Yeah, everything, man. How do you get your art supplies to do that? Like the um, markers and there's, everything? I mean, you know, back then, you, you know, you, you did whatever you had to do. If you had to purchase them, you know, you did. If some people didn't purchase them, you know, you went racking. That was, Go you're still well, in the paint, you know what you, I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta make it seem like these people don't know any of these terms. So yeah. what is racking? Racking mean? is stealing, you know, essentially. You know, you, you, you know, I think that was kind of the... You know, that was the get down, right? Mm-hmm, like, you mm-hmm. know, you, you, you could buy paint, but it's like, you know, you didn't really have money back then. We were, we were kids, right? So, so how would you give me some, um, like, what are some ways you stole then? Like, do, would you would you come with disguises in the store? No, man. It wasn't anything that devious. It was just Diversions? Putting, yeah. No, you just, you know, well, back you then in the, 90, in the did, 90s, you can't do you that. Just yeah, you used to stick, hand. you, yeah, yeah, you, you put things. cans in your, ra- in so your you waist. Did, oh, so you would just do that? Yep. You could probably fit like five, six cans in your waist. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you were really daring, I had yeah. homies that were, you know, bringing backpacks, filling up backpacks, mm-hmm. um, you know, all that type of stuff, man. I'm exposing you all to the, the audience, the criminal like world. No, but, no, but this is interesting. But we're all good people nowadays. No, no, you guys do it all legit now. Yeah, we yeah, do yeah, it yeah. legit. We're, we're, we're going to get into this. We, you know, me and a lot of other crews, mm-hmm. you know, we, we, you know, we, uh, we contributed to a lot of this con- culture early on. Um, the graffiti culture, the music culture, it's all this subgenre, you know, yeah, um, it's street culture. culture. It's yeah, street culture yeah. stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it, you know, in my era, in my hood, you, you know, you kind of were either born into a gang in a neighborhood or you were kind of born around artists and, you know, you have family members, the musicians. Yeah, so we're yeah, just yeah. kind of this melting pot. Oh. And I also think there's something to be said about like the era that we came up in, you know, we were all kind of grew up in the same, you're like my age. So we all kind of grew yeah, up in that I'm, same I'm, era yeah. where it was like, you know, trends were just like trends today. Right. So all of that was spawning back then. And so like... You, Did you watch your MTV Raps back of then? Of course. So that was all part of it, right? Yeah, like your yeah, MTV yeah, Raps yeah, yeah. was a tag, right? Oh, that was a t- Yeah. You know, I With mean, Ed it was... Lover, Dr. Dre and Ed Yeah, Lover. exactly. Yeah. So, you know, huh. yeah. Um, Did you... um? How did you link up with CBS and, and AWOL and them? Um, So me and AWOL grew up in Whittier, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Um, Growing up... And then, so AWOL and him are in a crew called The Cloaks, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yep. Get yours today. Oh, get the website. Um, get yours today. AbalanoRecords.com, A-B-O-L, A-B-O-L-A-N-O, get yours records.com, today. They, AbalanoRecords.com. They, mm-hmm, and they just went on tour with Mike and Nine. Yep. Okay. And I was going to bring you a tour poster, Don't I even forgot. trip, but I'm, we're just flashing it here. You don't mind, you don't mind if I do yeah, this? Yeah, no, absolutely. Get man. yours today. At the, say the website again. AbalanoRecords.com. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Instagram, The Cloaks. The Instagram, Cloaks, Gel Rock, G-E-L-R-O-C. And then I thought it was gel. Because um, do people like not pronounce it right? I thought it was gel at first. Why is it Gel Rock instead of Gel well, that, Rock? Yeah, so um, when I started doing graffiti back in the day, um, you know, it was like, what's what, what letters do you like? That's kind of how I formed my name. I love doing G's because you could style G's. Mm-hmm. You could style E's. You could style L's. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted a short name so you could just kind of hit up and go. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. didn't want a name like... You named yourself that? Yeah, yeah. With the homies, they're like, you know, it's kind of like the thing. What are your favorite letters? What throw-ups can you do? Mm. Your throw-ups being like bubble letters. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Quick letters and whatnot. So, yeah, those were like my favorite letters. I like symmetry. I like like a lowercase g is oh. like consistent with the loop on a lowercase l and the e could be symmetrical in the middle and you could do pieces that were like so you guys th- th- thought I did. about this i did yeah as far as like calligraphy style with yeah this just other all style. types of styles man you uh-huh. know capital g's so it's like and all b-boying that. and rapping it's I mean, all the same thing man yeah and, and so stuff, yeah and so back then to answer your question um you know when i was coming up with that name i was also aware that you know there was the the potential that other People could have that name Gel, but they would never have the name Gel. So, and so that's why if you look at my logo, it says Original Gel Rock. You know, there's no K on it. It's just G E R O C. Word up. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was like there's never going to be another Gel Rock, yeah. no matter what. Um, 
you know, you might meet another gel in New York or in in Europe, but you'll never, never see a gel. You'll never see a gel rock. You never. And so, to answer your question, like you know, people that don't know me are not familiar with my music. I've been doing music for you know twenty five, thirty years, and um, yeah, man, since you know, since Yo MTV raps. Yeah, so you you got a four before track that. Back there, like you- yeah, like you know, I started writing raps like before the Yo MTV era. Uh, Yo who, MTV raps who's era. Who's some of your favorite uh, rappers or rap groups? Um, most definitely, um, Public Enemy, mm. Rakim, mm. um, X Clan. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not a lot like of people talk about them. Yeah, that's that's that. Brother that's, J. Yeah, Brother J mm-hmm. is like you know one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, man. The, uh, what about Poor Righteous Teachers? Dude, I have a PRT baby. The shirt, this yeah. shirt that I brought you. I like. I'm them. wearing a. Poor, oh, PR, more, yeah, yeah, dude, they were tight. Dude. That's yeah, sh- dude. PR, dude, they were on some um, even brand Nubian like. The, yeah, brand Nubian, all, all those heads, De La Soul, yeah, all that. You know what I'm saying? Brand Nubian was on some. Yeah, we grew up on that real hip hop. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that real, real culture. What do you think about the artifacts? Yeah, artifacts are dope, man. Because like, they you know? talk about graffiti. And yeah. Stuff. So even then, like you know, and shout out to 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 those dudes, the homies. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Um, tame. Yeah, tame and. You know, um, Elder Sensei, mm-hmm. that's the homie, you know. When when they you dropped that them song. Dudes? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, oh, that's cool. Um, Elder Sensei is I've met him a couple times. I think I think I met him at Rhyme Fest, one of the older Rhyme Fest, which that, by the yeah. way, oh, we're, we're gonna, gonna talk plug. about that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um you wanna plug that right now? Yeah, uh might as well. Yeah, yeah, so go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. um August seventeenth, Rhyme Fest LA. Um, you will probably see me up there with my homie, the Shapeshifters crew. You know what Shout I'm saying? Shout out to the Shapeshifters. Shout out to the Shapeshifters. Yeah. Um, but I will most definitely be rapping during the Project Bloat All Star Cipher. Um, we Yo, got, shout out to Exist. Yeah, shout is, out to my brother Exist Cor- Stereo. Is, are they gonna be there? Yeah, is man, it, the yeah. Shapeshifters are gonna be there. What about Circus? I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping. Yo, Circus, you're always shout welcome out to my here brother on Marcus. the Stevie Weeby Show. That's yep. one of my guests that I want. Yeah, man. I want a Circus. He'll interview. come through. You think so? Yeah, I think we can get him to come yeah, through. Yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. many crew members? You may are have there? to pick him up though. I'll pick up. I'll, <laughs> I'll pick up Circus. No, I'm just I'm yeah, just yeah, messing yeah, around. Yeah. We were some off off. <laughs> I'll pick up Circus. Off camera yeah. inside joke shit. Yeah, but yeah, oh. I think he's gonna be there. And then um, so it's gonna be a really dope show. August seventeenth in Los Angeles. There's gonna be so many people that are playing. I don't want to miss out on anybody's names and start ro- doing the roll call. But look up rhymefestla.com. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Project Bloat, my crew. You know what I'm saying. How'd you get down with the Bloatians? Uh, just being being down with them. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Going to the, going to the Bloat back in the day, and me and AWOL, um, and and one of my other um, hip hop crews, E times two, EX two, E times two, E T I M S two. Yeah. Um, you know, we we always hung out, and so AWOL would always be at Fat Jacks from oh, Mass Men, right, and right, right, I right. would always be over there with them, Abstract Rude, and what about a- Acid Ray? Isn't there a crew called Acid? Yeah, Rain? those are the homies too. Beyond yeah, yeah, and yeah. Rest in Peace, Gaja, Omeka, and then what crew is Riddler from? CVE, oh, CVE Chillin' Villain yeah, Empire. Yeah, so yeah. so all of them, Beyond will be there at Project Bloat, uh, the Project Bloat Cipher. Um, Abstract Rude, all the OGs, ACLO, Mike and I. Shout out to all the homies from the Blood that are going to be rocking. What about Self Jupiter? Will he be there? Jupiter, um, I don't know if he's going to be there. Oh, I think right. yeah, Fellowship's going to be. What about Peace? Fellowship's on the flyer. Yeah. I think you, you think you think we'll get AC alone, Mike yeah. and Nine, and Jupiter. I'm I've not sure Peace is going to be there. Yes, dude, their first album was amazing. Amazing man, Inner City Grise. Yeah. yeah, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Um, the thing I like about that collective is y'all had like different weird styles. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, I think is that the, they they really look up to that. They they really um hold that up, you know, to a high regard, right? Like originality. Yeah, yeah. originality styles pattern, and like the competitiveness and... of it all too. You know what I'm saying? A lot of battling. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Outside like, or inside? Both, man. Wherever. So there, there is it just like now it's acapella, but back then it would be you'd have to do it on beat and stuff. Um, you know, back then it was there wasn't rules. It wasn't as scripted as it is today. It was more freestyle. All, yeah, right. today you get it's to prepare. Theatrical now. Yeah, it's theatrical now. Mm-hmm. You you know you get a chance to know who your opponent is, mm-hmm. and you get to write about your opponent, dig up dirt on them, and you know it's filmed and it's like it's theatrical. Back mm-hmm. then it was just on the spot. On the spot, you, you know, heads are you, you either come off or you're gonna get cut off. And it was very competitive, and oh, there was right, a lot right, of egos yeah. and a, a lot, lot of, of a lot of earning your stripes, any earning fights, your keep. Any fights break? Oh, of up? course, dude. I've, we, really? Yeah, man. I told you, I've 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 served dudes at parties where because you're it a ends big guy. And, I saw when I went to greet you, I I real I didn't realize how tall and big you were. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you had to 
Yeah, we yeah. all of it, man. Everything you can imagine, we've been through it all. But yeah, like through through graffiti, through house parties, through serving serving dudes on the mic. You know what I'm saying? Can I give you a hypothetical? Yeah. Okay, so let's say you're in a cipher and this guy's rapping. He's yeah. like, but then there's he's spitting in your face. Oh yeah, that's happened too, man. All of that's happened. And then, but there's like he's like going. I'm, I'm, I, sorry, go ahead. Okay, and he's he's saying something, and then he, there's like a piece of bread like in saliva that sticks onto your face. What do you do? Oh, I'm probably it's probably gonna turn into something physical if, we're, if, he's, if he's like he's like eating a sandwich trying to wrap and shit. You no, know? no, 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 no. He don't eat the sandwich, <laughs> but there's remains of like pastrami Damn. and bread and pickle and stuff, and it's he's he's like. <sighs> He's yeah, just man, it'll probably, spitting it in it, your face. If it's, that's, that's disrespectful, I think. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so how would you, who would, would there be a judge back then, or would it, whoever just quit first? Um, it was a little bit, just crowd response, you know what I'm saying? You just the energy, you kind of knew who what was what, you know what I'm saying? It's like, when you got into fights as a kid, you didn't, there wasn't somebody who was like, oh, this guy won, yeah, you raised yeah, your yeah. hand, you know, it's just like, oh, that guy got him, you know what yeah. I mean? So it was kind of like that, you just, you know. I really like AWOL, too, like, y'all been so, like, Ever since meeting you guys, you guys have been real gracious and just really chill. And so shout out to AWOL. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, my yeah. brother. Shout out yeah. to my brother, Cloak. Um, how'd Cloak. you guys come up with a name? Um, I think at the time, so I think it was, you know, me and him joke around a lot. A lot of, a lot of things that we do is just like we're, we're, we're on the phone and we're telling jokes or we're, we're in person talking shit. Um, just... You know, and and things get born, ideas get born that way. You know what I mean? It's like it's like, oh, that was that was super funny. That should be a chorus. Right. Like right. we'll 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 be texting and be like, dude, here's the new hook. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, a joke, but then we can flip it. You know, differently when tonality. So, so I think back then to get to the answer, of the question is, you know, it was kind of like social media makes people kind of promote themselves in a way. Sometimes it's off putting, and so Give we me wanted an example of that. Um. I don't know, maybe just trying too hard. You know what I mean? Without, without, I don't want to offend anybody, but no, just, it's fine. You could just leave. But sometimes it, it gets corny. You know what I mean? And it's like, and and there's something to be said about anonymity and 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 doing things that isn't about your ego. And so the cloaks was a way to create an identity for us two individuals and form a group that had a new shared identity. Nice, like the shapeshifters. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like yeah. you, everybody's like, who's the shapeshifters? Who is the cloaks? You know what I'm saying? And so that's kind of the idea that it started with is that we wanted to kind of, at first we weren't even going to say we were AWOL and Gale Rock. It was just going to be the cloaks and we tried to promote it that way at first, but inevitably it was just too difficult to kind of keep I that I like up. that name. Yeah. It's mysterious. And it's, we knew that too. And then yeah. and the other thing is like, you know, I think the reality is people are starting to, you know, um, realize that in life, Everybody wears a cloak. We all wear cloaks. Yeah. That, you know, that, you wear a cloak oh, so at there's work. A, there's a double meaning. Oh, there's a lot of meanings. There's a lot of meanings. Yeah, right? there's a lot yeah, of meanings. Yeah. You know, we, we wear cloaks in life. We wear cloaks to mask our feelings. Um, and so and there's... Cloak and dagger. It cloak be used and in dagger. A, it could be used in If you listen sense. to our records, you know, you, you kind of get a lot of these themes in the songs. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about a lot of, um, you know, like social behaviors also kind of like our observations and, and our own real life experiences we're bringing into the music that kind of addresses all of that yeah, you know what yeah, i'm saying yeah. like there's there's definitely some um cool themes to our records like the first record uh the cloaks was self-titled and then the second one which is sold out i don't even have a copy of it or actually oh, the cd is right here oh this is the cd um i don't have the first one here but this one is called cloak encounters of the third eye i love it kind of like close encounters of, of the, the third, third kind, kind. Yeah, right yeah yeah Did so you, that was a great movie by the way yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out Speaking to dan lish if you yeah. guys if you if you know who dan lish is um he does amazing artwork for iconic hip-hop artists and he did that cover um, that record actually sold out. That's just the CD copy. Oh, you got Cool Keith on you? Cool Keith is on the record. D Styles from the Invisible Scratch Pickles oh, Beat Junkies damn, is our Sage DJ. Sage Francis on here. Shout, shout out to Sage Francis. Um, wow. Sir Beans does the yeah. cuts. Uh, the producer is Awkward. That's the homie. Um, and, and awkward? Awkward. Just oh, okay, singular. Okay, because there's an from the bank. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, he yeah. spells it A W K W A R D. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so then there's Cloak Encounters, and then the other one that you have is. Um, this one is a clockwork orange, like a clockwork orange. Yeah, so this so is they're a, lot, following, a lot of movie inspiration. Well, yeah, and they also kind of represent, like, you know, loosely sort of the concepts of our music. You mm -hmm. know, it's like clo a clockwork yeah. orange was a very... Um, oh, I love that movie, by the way. Yeah, just can some I, can weird I, can stuff. Can I show some of these? 
That's my uh, my last solo record oh, this is, that I wow. just put out. It's called Poetry of War. That's awesome. Um, produced by DJ Ja Blues. Nice. Um, 12 tracks. Yeah, 12 songs. Got a bunch of Project Blow nice. homies on there. Oh, nice. AWOL, AB, Mass Man Crew. Um, my homie Nick Knack. Shout out to Nick Knack from CBS. He yeah. did that artwork. That artwork right there. It's beautiful. It's all hand drawn. So there's really? such a level of detail. All those are dots. None of that is digital. Even the skulls? Yeah, skulls. All of that is inked. That's he's real, a tattoo that's artist. Really yeah. Impressive. yeah. He's an amazing artist. And wow. he's my homie. Shout out. Yeah. Nick Knack. Yeah, yeah. CBS. Sorry, man. I mean, you, you brought it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah for so, sure, man. And then look at this beauty. So, A Cloakwork Orange was that CD. This is a remix album. It's double vinyl. Um, it's a gatefold. It opens up Dude, and it's this called is sick. A Cloak Rework Orange. It's an entire remix album. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you have Controller 7? Controller 7 did, did a remix. He did an album with JJ with Mestizo. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, Controller Seven, shout out Controller. I don't want to miss anybody's name, but let me. You got, let me you just, well, you got Dose One on Dose, here. You yeah. got Mega Abusive Alpha. You got Awkward. Shout out to all the D Styles. Um, AC Alone's on here. Oh, you got Kenny Siegel on here. AC Alone actually did two remixes. He produced two remixes, wow. and he raps on the That's album. That's awesome. How'd you link up with AC? Just through the uh, Project Blow? Yeah, just just hip hop, man. Just yeah. you know, being around, being active. That's crazy. Good for you, man. And then, um, can I show some of your? You, so you brought this. This is the glow in the dark um, shirt. Yeah, that's yeah. um, it's a Gel Rock Truth Bomb shirt, mm -hmm. and uh, it glows in the dark. This is shout sick. out to Concuss, um, that did sick. that. And then what about this bad boy? Um, that's a Gel Rock. I did that piece. And this it's is a, long sleeve. That's a long oh, sleeve. I'm yeah, I did this. these. I'm rocking this in Arizona. I did these two um, designs for the tour. This so I had sick. those to sell. This is sick. You sold you sold out of these, right? Yeah, I had to get I had to I just got these in. Okay, where can someone where can they cop some of this stuff? Easiest way is to uh hit me up on Instagram at G E L R O C. The link is in the profile. Mm -hmm. It goes to essentially Abalano Records Bandcamp mm -hmm. um and then the Abalano Records uh website. That's awesome. Man. Yeah. Yeah. That is good for you. I mean, so what do you so like so you guys just went on tour, right? Like what was that like? What was your experience like? Like Super dope, man. I mean, yeah. we're, we're you know we're we're super thankful to be in 2024 alive and producing music. It's it's mm -hmm. it's always uh, a blessing to still do what you love. Yeah. You know, I think art keeps you young. Music keeps I, you I, young. At least up. you know, creatively, it helps me continue to explore and grow and kind of mm -hmm. just like, you know, um, do what I love. You know, what I'm saying to create music. You know, what I'm saying. What's your, what's your writing process like when before you start a song? Um, you know, I think the Probably the biggest um, hurdle to get over is what the song topic is about. Oh. Once you get the song topic or you get a, a chorus, after that, it's it's pretty pretty easy to kind of yeah, get yeah, through yeah, stuff. Yeah, For yeah, me, yeah. it's like filling in the blanks, you yeah. know. But it took a lot of writing over the years to get to that degree of mm -hmm. like you know, kind of like it's like riding a bike now. You know, do you, do you do you indulge in any like hallucinogenics or DMT or anything uh, like that? No, I haven't done that. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I mean, not. You know, respect anybody that, yeah. that has the, the you know the the want to do it and, and feels good about it. But I don't like to do anything like that that kind of takes me over. I need to function, and you know what I mean. Do the, have any of the shapeshifters indulged in stuff like that? I'm sure, man. Because I mean, it's so they're yeah, so the shapeshifters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And science fiction, sci-fi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when we were younger, I think we, you know, everyone kind of experimented with mushrooms. No, and I'm talking about like, like a lot where you could like where your mind goes to outer oh, space. Oh, dude, we definitely have friends, unfortunately, that have went off the off off the Richter. Yeah, and that are like give me an example. Like, don't say the name. Just give me an example of something. I mean, just uh, you know, just crazy stories, man. Of people like just, mental institutions. No, nah, I wouldn't go that far, but maybe um, probably should you know get some sort of help and you know and 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 have gotten help and have come back. You know, thankfully. Right, right, right. But, so are aliens involved? Um. In some of these things, situations? aliens built Earth, man. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking yeah, about yeah. these, these yeah. scenarios. Yeah, man, I'm where sure. You, where they think they could communicate, like, oh yeah, for telepathically sure, with like a gray alien, oh, yeah. gray or something, I'm or sure, reptilian man. or something. Oh yeah, I'm sure, dude. I'm sure that um, there's homies right now that probably don't even need to be on drugs and think they're talking. Yeah, to when, I so at, <laughs> when I worked at Amoeba, I was looking because I always looked at yeah. your guys' stuff. You yeah, know, I, it's you very know, influenced by a lot of that. Shout out to Gino Subtitle and oh my brother. I just yeah, he doesn't know this. That's the homie. That's the homie. Yeah. Gio's the homie. But he doesn't know this because nobody really knows this. But I recorded a song yesterday and actually hit him 
by his name up in the song. That's what's up. Yeah. By uh, Giovanni yeah, or subtitle? Yeah, Giovanni, no. Oh, I hit him up Because it Giovanni used to be Marks, subtitled. Yeah. Like, he put a lot So, of... happy birthday, yeah. Gio. But anyway, I would go down into, onto the floor, you know, because when I got shipped up to the warehouse I, on my breaks, I'd look to see who put out yeah. what. And then, like, I would look at the Shapeshifters releases, yeah. and there's one where I saw, uh, I, I don't know if it was a circus album or a radio act. One of them had a, uh, their co- the cover was a reptilian half, like George yeah. Bush, and a half reptilian. And I'm like, I, that's before I even knew about yeah, this Yeah, Circus actually drew that. He did? Yeah, it's amazing. Shout out to I Circus. I actually have that skateboard in my house. Yo, shout out to Circus. He was one yeah, of Yeah, that's my, the homie. Yeah, he's really, um, he's very creative. Yeah, yeah. There, you know, I think all of my homies are creative geniuses. You, mm-hmm. know, I th- you know, I think that uh, probably we're all creative geniuses and, and, and probably half insane. And I think the only time we really get the, the the credit is if there's some sort of social acknowledgement or recognition that people define as success. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then and then you get credit for your genius, you know, but like with, later. Yeah. Maybe, or, or, or when you die. Or if, or if you get those flowers when you're alive, then you know, maybe people recognize you as a creative genius for that you deserve to be, but um usually it's centered around some sort of recognition, I feel like that social you know, yeah. are you talking about social media again? Um, or just, the just social, in general, like, like the just, recognition. Yeah, like, just in yeah. general. Like for for instance, you know, a lot of my homies, you know, when you're growing up and you have your creative journey, even your family could think you're the black sheep if they're you're not like subscribing. Making money, on right? Doing right. It's my yeah. point. So once you you actually crack a little bit of success, you start selling your art. They see people reacting to it, people coming to then shows. Then they respect. Then it. they respect right. it, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, and if you can double down by doing other things to validate your, you know, your intelligence, mm-hmm. then you gain more credibility right. on top of that, and they take That's you more even more serious as an artist. But, you know, for a long time, even in my family, I was a black sheep because, you know, I was I was this vandal kid oh, and yeah. getting in trouble. And you know what I'm saying? You've been to jail over that stuff, like graffiti or? I'm a good dude. Yeah. You say you walked a straight and narrow. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm a straight dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm a yeah, good yeah. man. Yeah. I'm a good man. I mean, you're a good you're a family man, too. I'm I a family know. man. Yeah. I have I have two two beautiful children. I met your son. He's a nice guy. He was a oh, nice yeah. guy. He was a gentleman. He was yeah, a nice man. guy, well mannered. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm a proud father, man. I have two two children, uh yeah. twenty and twenty three years old. That's crazy. They're they're um both little crazy genius human beings. Yeah, that's crazy. Love them, yeah. Are you still uh, with your wife? Like t- uh, no, I'm actually uh, actually divorced. A couple okay. years divorced. Okay. Okay. Um, but you know. But you guys are cool. Have you... Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, you yeah. you you, uh-huh. you just uh, you parentals. You do the parentals. You, you know, do the I was for, yeah, yeah for sure. Though I was thankful that we we raised two beautiful humans and mm-hmm. and life moves on, man. You know, I'm happy to um, you know happy to happy happy where I'm at right now. Yeah. Um. So what what are some of your like future like future projects you would like to do? Like some artists you would like to work. Within the future, man, you know the crazy thing is, um, I'm just thankful for everybody that I've ever created and done music with, mm-hmm. and even painted with. I dude, mean, I, I know you guys put me on that song too, man. Oh, that, dude, that that's meant, another that, thing. That so, meant a lot, so man. that meant a lot. That so shout out to A Wall again. Shout out to A Wall because we're on a song together, man. That's right. So yeah. uh, let's talk about that real quick. Yeah. So my my brother A Wall One has a new album called Aponia. It's produced by the legendary Cool Keith. That's crazy. Um, it, and um. You know, he he has a posse cut. Posse cut is a song with multiple Yo, it came artists out on tight, it. Bro. And, it um, came out tight, bro. And came out tight. I'm on it. You're on it. He, your, your other homies on. It came out tight. You killed it. Yeah. It was dope. Thank you. I, I yeah. really no. I really was really uh, honored to to do yeah. that with you guys. Yeah. When he said Cool Keith, I got scared. I'm like, huh? Because Ultra Magnetic, man. Like, dude, one of the best beat down. Like, oh my god, one of the best. And, yeah, just bit. Yeah. Yeah, just, man. Dude, dumb. The, 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 their beats were hard even back. When they dropped that in the eight, that's that's why I'm saying, man. No, like, their beats were hard. I'm I'm thankful to have to be on a we're on a Keith produced cool. song. Uh, he's on our record. I've Yo. done multiple songs. In that, fact, um, let me give another shout out real quick. Um, this Saturday is nationally it's record store day. Record store day is any of your you know record store that still sell vinyl. Mm-hmm. You know, um, mm-hmm. but the homie homeless MC and uh, I'm sorry MC homeless. And Cool Keith have a record they collabor- collaborated on. It's called um, Acid and Mushrooms, I think. If I hope I didn't get that name yeah. out. But um, 
I'm featured on that uh, on a, on I think it's the title track with Cool Keith and um, MC Homeless with me and Open Mike Eagle. Oh, yeah, shout out to Mike. So, yeah, shout so out to Mike too. That, yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. record drops this Saturday. That's what's up. Where can people rec- cop that? Any local record store, you should be able to get it. Have you met? Are you? Have you met Keith like in person? Yeah. Is, yeah. is he a kind of we rap weird, together on yeah, stage at, is he a weird is he a kind of a peculiar guy he yeah if you guys don't know who cool keith is go ahead of, and look him up he's a legendary icon in the hip-hop game yeah. and he is definitely all of the uh oh dr octagon. legend all of the legend that he is dr octagon black elvis yes oh all man we grew up on all that stuff you know what i'm saying no but his style was even back then he he sounded ahead of his time way different than the other guys in yeah in ultra magnetic yeah ahead of his time always rapping his, about space yeah and, um so uh, you know yeah man and then he dropped that sex styles that <laughs> sex was a, styles that was, was, a, was classic that was a crazy classic classic album bro. sex style like the car do you, do you remember the oh, album dude, cover dude um like the stuff he was wearing Man, is he wearing like tidy dude, white? That, is he wearing like tight? I don't. Rem- I don't remember is what he's wearing. Like I think tight- he's wearing white pants, right? No, I think he's wearing tight underwears. No, no, is silky. He? I thought he was wearing like. I just remember. I don't know. You like were looking. You were focused on the wrong part. I was oh. focused on the. I was looking at the girl. <laughs> I was looking at the girl, dude. <laughs> I was looking at the overall thing. Yeah, Wasn't yeah. he by like a, a, car. a Cadillac? Yeah, 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 or, yeah, 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 yeah. No, but that album's so classic too, man. Yeah. So, but the but kind of circling back, man. Like you know, <laughs> I don't. I don't, I've worked with so many people at this point. I'm so thankful to to have worked with so many people. Yeah. At this point, I am actually trying to make records without features. But you know what I'm saying? It's right. like, you know, like this. I have a new record, um, a new solo record that is being mastered right now. Shout out to the homie Deesky. Oh, I gotta get. Oh God, I gotta get Deesky on here. Deesky's the homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legendary. I gotta, thanks for reminding me. I gotta. Can you write down Deesky? I gotta get Deesky. Um, I ran into him. Yeah. On the street. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. yeah. I, write down Deesky. I gotta first, get him on. First, Deesky, I love you. Shout out to Deesky. Yeah, he's he's one of my one of my best friends, man. He's he's, he's such a, a confidant. Guy. He is. He knows my music so well, and so he's mastered most of my music. Oh, he's good. He's I, he's a good. Sound he's a, he's too, a right? master. He's a master at, at his craft. That, yeah. And and dude, people. You know he lives in the neighborhood, dude. I see yeah. him around here, bro. Yeah, he's dude. He's a legend. Yeah. Um, he's he's responsible. For so many people's music, all of like at two max, dude. There's people. Remember they all lived down there? Yeah, it was like Alex and yep. and him and, and Gino was yeah. there. Yeah, I, like way down. You take LeBron dude, all the way down there. We've had some parties over there, man. That house. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, all the shapeshifters, everybody. LA, that's LA to the Bay headquarters. Well, that is. Yeah, it was. You know, I mean, I mean but back it was. Then, but that was like early too, because I remember I had to drop off Gino at from work. Yeah, and then I went in for a little bit, but they had like their own like. CD, like CD burner tower. <laughs> oh, dude, we used to like, oh man, right? I, Everything like, was DIY. Yeah. You like know what I mean? It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just burn CDs, go to a show, and get your music out. Hustle, man. Yeah, but they all had plant the like, seeds. That house was just filled with like creatives, creative people, creatives, like, yeah. creatives, man. Like that's and that's why it's like I, I, I was having a conversation with somebody the other day saying like the fact that we've all been doing music for this long, this this movement, this project, blowed shapeshifters. The cloaks, everything, all everyone, this independent music scene has evolved beyond hip hop. People are messing with different genres and just making mm-hmm. experimental music. But I feel like we're all making the best music we've ever made there because we are such masters of our craft at this Cause, point. Because you've done, put we've in so just much been, time. we put in yeah. so much time. We've released so many records. You guys um, have right, even. Oh just, my gosh, dude! I, I mean, when I, I mean, set up Gino my alone, like subtitle alone, like Gino's dude, we've put, all. Dude, Gino's put out hundreds of albums, dude. Like, I mean, when I put out, when I go do set up my merch table, I, a, a big long table. I, I don't. My records go from left to right. It's like I don't have space right. for one table. Is not enough for all my catalog. Murr's put out a lot of stuff too, huh? Dude, everybody. Like even yeah. just all. What is it about the U L A? The L A. Why you guys put so much? We're just stuff out, I it's mean, just create creators, man. Yeah, just creators. Yeah. And the dope thing is that we made a lot of these records. Before social media, MySpace was barely coming up back then, right? But like, we've done all this before social media became a magnifying glass to amplify our music. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, beautiful stuff. Yeah, it's like so. You know, we're we're lifers, dude. It's probably kept you guys out of trouble too over the years. Oh my god, yeah, music. You know what I'm saying? That's come on. So earlier we were talking about graffiti. Like obviously, I couldn't continue to do do that that forever. No, man. Especially when I became a parent. Freeway yeah, passes and yeah. You know, music was a good transition to kind of keep the culture moving and kind of, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's just a beautiful thing, man. But dude, to do all of that 
And then to circle back to you know answering your question about how the tour was, it's it's 2024, and me and AWOL and Micah yeah, I said Nine. You had a good time. You sold out. We had an amazing uh, run. You know what I'm saying? We we thank everybody that came out to the shows. Um, you know, that bought merch, you know, it was, we just made new memories, man. And we're yeah. thankful. We're thankful to get to every destination safe, get home to our family safe. So what um, was some of your rock. highlights? Like what are some cities you like r- rocking at? Well, I thought, you know, we opened up the tour in Seattle and I thought Seattle oh, was really yeah. felt like we were, we were really welcomed on the tour. Really? Like the, that was, a, the, you could just feel the love and, uh, it was a dope venue, we're Seattle, Washington. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You go to Tacoma too, as well. We didn't go to Tacoma. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but but I think Seattle and 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 much respect to every place that we went. But personally, for me, I thought the first show in Seattle was was probably one of my favorites because of just the overall vibe and energy, the, the stage, was, everything was, was just great. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And then. Um, Probably the L.A. Homecoming was also my favorite too mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. I got to see my the homies, the, and my, the my, family. my my love she came out and yeah, supported. Yeah. You know that what I mean? Cool. And and yeah. we got to perform for our loved ones and and our in our uh, in our in our local homies yeah. and, and fans. And That's so, great. Yeah. yeah, man, it was great, man. It was, and we like I said, we're just thankful to still be doing this after all these years. You know what I mean? Um, how did you link up with Mestizo and? And and those have, did you have you met like the G four cats as well? Yeah, like typical um, cats and yeah, like I've met a few. Quell and, yeah, shout met, out to Quell. Yeah, shout out to Quell. He's my favorite. Quell's my favorite. Yeah, my favorites. Yeah. yeah, big ups to Quell. Yeah, Quell. Um, Quell. yeah, he's the homie. I, I've met a few of those dudes over the years for mm-hmm. sure. And Mestizo, you know him, kind of being in L A. and working with all the L A. to the Bay umbrella of yeah, heads. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. We we just. Hit it off, you know what I mean? You know, JJ. And uh, yeah. we got we got a new song, too. He's he's putting out a new record, and we did a dope song for it, man. Were you on McKenna Morte as well? No, uh, I mean, I was down with everybody, and yeah. like it kind of felt like that's where it was going. But then, I don't know, things kind of changed course as I was mm-hmm. kind of like, you know, hanging out with them more. And, yeah. and that's all good, man. It, it, much respect to everybody. Doing um, their thing, yeah. It, they were all homies. It kind of felt like... We were already crew anyways, mm-hmm. but they just kind of started creating a new movement and push, and mm-hmm. that was dope. And actually, that's, you know, that's how I, I our producer, Awkward, of the, the producer of The Cloaks, I should mm-hmm, say, mm-hmm. he's produced all our records. He was part of Makina Muerte, and that's where... Oh, that's where I think I heard yeah, his name. Yeah, yeah right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right, yeah. So we hit it off. He came to a bloat anniversary uh-huh. in L.A., and... You know, we just started working on a bunch of stuff, and and we we forged our identity with him and did a whole record. So now we're three records in with Awkward, and we're working on it. We're about halfway through our fourth album, the fourth Cloaks album. What does he make? Uh, his uh, beats and, and production. Where, where how does he? Where does he make it? On? Um, I'm not sure what software interface he uses, yeah. but you know, does MPC he tap Beat it Machine. Out? Yeah. Uh, does he sample? Is it sample oriented? He does some samples, um, but he also plays. You know. Drums mm-hmm. on the machines and bangs, you know, bangs yeah, buttons yeah, like that's cool, man. every other original producer from our era. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. But uh, yeah, he's an amazing producer, and that's also a good, good homie of mine. But yeah, Deesky yeah, is mastering. Deesky, yeah. He's mastering my new record. Thanks um, for reminding me. I got to get him on. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry, man. I, I I'm remembering now. Yeah. Yeah. I ran so, into Deesky. Yeah. Uh, I have a new so. record. I'm gonna announce right now. We're gonna announce it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I wasn't planning on doing this. I don't have no, all the this details. This is your platform, man. This is why. But um, Deesky is mastering my new solo record, produced entirely by Parazax, and all the scratches are done by D Styles. So it's Gel Rock, Parazax, D Styles. The new album is called Lost Control: Buttons, Fades, and Memoirs. Um, I don't know when the album is dropping yet. Um, but we're gonna put a whole campaign behind it. D Styles from Scratch Pickles. Yeah, he did all the cuts. Them dudes are masters. They're like ninjas. On, they're masters like, of the craft. Like ninja hands. Much love. It, um, he came out to the Vegas show and yeah, rocked yeah, with the cloaks. Yeah. You know. So did you? Are you? Were you into like that DJ culture too? Like yeah, Q-Bird so and yeah, um, shortcut and all oh, that dude. stuff. So this record um, is a journey. There's 21 tracks on it. Damn. In an era where what? people want to feed you singles, people don't have the attention span, but this is going to be This is going to be a double vinyl release. It's going to be a gateful release. Um Dude. You know, I make I make music and I think Do you make music every night? Like No, I don't, oh, but, but um but I just I just felt but I think your brain about it every just, night. 
strain just now because you're like trying to think of like all this material. Dude, I honestly the I just, craziest I just thing saw is you go like you just had like a malfunction, a brain malfunction. The craziest almost. thing is that um the amount of work that I've done over the years, um, you know, I like to say I, I grind so hard I don't have to grind. Jeez, you know what I mean? Please. I could I could not record or or actively do music and still release music that I've already recorded That's for crazy. a couple of years yeah, easily. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I people you think love I, it. Yeah, you I mean it. it's at this point it's just who I am. I'm I, I'm all about, you know, um at this point what just, do you like about it? Is it meditative when you're actually Yeah, it's it's ex, it? it's Does expression it calm you down dude. when you're making it. It's therapeutic. Yeah. I mean this record is called Lost Control Buttons Fades and Memoirs. Wow. And it's there's a lot of meaning behind it, but yeah. it's an hour's worth of music. And uh, it takes you on a journey. I like to craft records that are like a book. Like a storybook. Like, like a, a book. Bo- yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? So I, I like, can tell by your album covers. I like to put a record yeah. on, on the, you so know. So it's like, like a book. Yeah, yeah. it's an or audio book. a comic book. book or something. A comic yeah. book, an audio book, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, do you like listening, like, when you're recording? Do you, how, do you like replaying your stuff back to, to listen to, like, the, you know, just like intricacies of your, like, always. voice? or Everything. That's, so how many do you? Because I like that's my favorite part about it is like yeah. listening to like before you put it out. Yeah, right. Or is that? Just... Yeah, you go through you go through the demo phase, mm-hmm. um, you know, and then you you know you get it final mixes and you master yeah, mine it. Just, I just release it through the demo phase. Like am I well, just always well, at the, the demo reason, phase and I just put it out like the demo phase. Well, the reason <laughs> I paused right there, yeah, is because. I do consider myself a professional at this point. Oh, I can tell. And um, look at your product, man. So on the demo phase, like I, I literally try to approach it with like this is going to be the final cut. Like it might get finally mixed, right. but in terms of like I don't like I like to be efficient with my time. Right. I don't, you know, but I do put out stuff that I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm I good. like the raw stuff. Like yeah, I, I, I like, do too. Like the old four track, like the way yeah. people used to release stuff. That's like, where we come from. Yeah, yeah, like the high roll oldies and stuff like. Yeah. That. I like I like that old stuff. I mean, you know, there's, it's like the resurgence of tapes now, and yeah, and, I know. So where did you get these? Bad oh, boys so from? like, yes, these are cool mm-hmm. to show off. So I brought mm-hmm. these tapes for you. Um, I like, got a tape for you too. Afterwards, I want to get that. I need yeah, that. I'm gonna get you. One. So this is this is that poetry oh, of war. You, my last you. solo record. Yeah. You could see that. Like if you remember tapes, they used to have the window. They had Damn, the reel. Damn, yours came out tight, full. Look at the tape. It's like. <laughs> It's a fully covered. Dude, so, so listen, you know. Look at that. It's fully covered artwork. Whoa. You remember like the tapes used dude, to have the I reel? Dude, jelly right now. You know, dude, your tape, so does your jealous. tape have the reel no, in it? No, no. Mine don't even look close to this. Well, like for those of you that dude, know tapes. this is a different level, bro. This is called prison style. No Damn. window in the middle. No window. Prison style. Let me see. Remember yours has the yeah. reels. Prison style. No yeah, window. That's crazy. Crazy. Fully, so fully thought, wrapped artwork. So there's thought behind that too, like everything. Oh, can I take a look at that? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Um, and shout out to uh, the homie crazy. Griffin One from CBS. He did the artwork for a Cloakwork Dude, Orange. I love it. I love the thought behind your product before you put it out. Yeah, man. What made you think of that idea? Like, if I could pick um, your brain a little bit, because we're just to trying last... to. Are we we good on time? That's about to... okay. Yeah. No, no, we we, we could chop it up a yeah. little bit more. Yeah, I wanted to. But what was your thought pro- like? What made you think of that? I'm I'm always trying to make art. So you're th- so you're laying in bed thinking about oh how am I going to release this? Dude, oh, yeah. I oh man. Yes. Like, like intricacies, details of yep. how you're going to put your stuff out. Yep. It's it's it's, it's just, all of it, man. It's like it's the, the brain man, never you, turns you're off, like you know. An artistic madman. I just yeah, like I said, we're all we're all creative yeah, geniuses yeah, yeah, in yeah, our yeah, own yeah, way, yeah. you know. Exactly. So this is this is beautiful stuff, man. Appreciate um, it. Can we plug uh the website again? And can we plug that Rhymefest thing yeah. that you're doing? Yeah, Rhymefest LA, August 17th. Mm-hmm. Um, What's your tickets? I don't know, man. Okay, well, because this is coming out next. Well, we Go to rhymefestla.com. Yeah, there's Rhymefestla.com. Yeah. There's probably some VIP tickets. Um, I'll be rapping with the Project Bloat All-Star Cypher. I'll probably be rapping with the Shapeshifters. Um, AbolanoRecords.com. A B O L A N O records.com. Mm-hmm. Um, you can find us on Bandcamp and you can find me on all the socials. G E L R O C. G E L R O C. With a hard G, like graffiti. Yeah. Gel Rock. Gel Rock. On all platforms. Proper can introduction. You, uh, can you uh, put your Instagram again? G E L R O C. Okay. Yeah. Anything else we missed? I mean, are you pretty satisfied with the interview? Do you think, do you think that we kind of. Um, 
got like the right correct information that you wanted out there. I think the omen was my favorite part. <laughs> I'm, dude, yeah. I'm stuck on the omen. Yeah, it was, it was pretty yeah. bugged out. No, it was but, but dude, out. I'm happy that, that yeah, I'm here. Yeah, 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 dude. Anytime you know I was going to get, and then I was, you know, sometimes I, forget, I get hit up so much by just all over yeah. the place. You know, so yeah, I want Deesky on here. Um, I would like another shapeshifter on here. If like, like maybe like Circus or yeah. maybe Courtney or something like yeah. if he's in town. or I just would like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You should yeah. definitely get them on for sure, man. We all been here. Uh, Two Mex has been here. Mm -hmm. Gino's Shout been here. Shout out to Two Mex. Much love, brother. Um, yeah. Uh, who else has been here? Oh, some of the legends have been here. Yeah. I haven't had any of the uh, a lot of Project Blow guys, have I? You have now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, You man. think maybe Abstract Rude would be there? Yeah, dude. He'd be super hype. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Well, we'll we'll we'll, we'll chat after. Yeah, yesterday. for sure. So get yours today. Okay, say this again. Let's let's say let's plug this. Again. The cloaks. Get, a cloak get yours today at abalonorecords.com. Spell that out. A B O L A N O records. Abalano records, y'all. Get yes. it today. And you guys ship. Is it free shipping? Like how much is shipping? Shipping is not included, but you okay, know, that's shipping's, good. That's good yeah, 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 yeah. shipping's not included, yeah. but you know, we, our, our prices are, reasonable? you know, they're, yeah, they're reasonable prices. And are these, these are limited edition. Yeah. Like, there's a limited edition, man. Get them now. Um, if you spin records, you know, and you love hip hop, this is dope mm -hmm. for sure. Get yours today. Do you have a good time here? Yeah, man. Love it. For All sure, right, man. man. Yeah, I really, you know, my favorite part was the graffiti because I, you, I like learned. Dude, a little there's bit about, so much to unpack. Yeah, I feel like we just. Scraped yeah, I know, the I know. I want. I mean, we could have talked about that. I just didn't want to yeah. get stuck on a subject matter and not move on to because I know that we wanted to plug all this. Yeah. Stuff. Um, yeah. So that was fun. Um, get yours today um, and catch the cloaks at a, a theater near you. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. 